So here we have the cone beam CT of our patient for this morning. And these mandibular central incisors, as you can see, have very little bone. But then again, the game plan is to augment this site to allow for three odometer root forms to be placed ultimately. We're going to go ahead, make our incision, and um, allow for full flap exposure of this site. You see the periosteum separates rather nicely from the ridge. That doesn't always happen. I will take what 4x4 four four and just help the dissection along. Just blunt dissection with finger. Still have some tissue tags here. Go ahead and just debride that. We want no soft tissue at all, of course, in the area of our graft. Now what we'll do is release our flap anteriorly. And it's important that we get closure without tension, certainly with all of our grafting sites. Okay, so this is the mesh that we're looking at to use. Basically, the goal in terms of placing this is to allow for adequate extension for fixation. Okay, so here we have our BMP sponge. We're just going to cut it now into some small pieces, as we typically do. So here what we'll do is just cut up a few of these membranes. We'll just bring at least two, even three of these over here. So now we'll introduce our graft to the field. We certainly have more than we bargained for, I would say, but we certainly want that BMP in there. So now we can take and bend the mesh and form fit it over that ridge. We're going to go ahead and close distally and then in the midline itself. Okay, now let's go to the crest. And here we'll go ahead and use some mattress sutures, certainly. It's very delicate tissue, so it's easy to go right through it. And typically what I'll do, I've placed a few mattress sutures, one single interrupted. Now we'll basically just do a continuous interlocking. So here we are with our completed case. And as you see, we have been able to obtain good primary closure without tension.